felony, and it's not a felony to steal a bike if the bike is worth under five thousand dollars. So it's it's that inaction of the city to, to you know allow people to clean up to stop obvious crime. Another reason you don't want to move to Portland: the depression. For 220 days a year, it's incredibly drizzly, dark, dank, cold, and gloomy. One study just came out that called Portland the most depressed city in the country. It's not just the weather. The study looked at a variety of factors, including rates of depression, suicide, divorce, crime, unemployment, as well as the weather. And there's no support for the depression either. Mental Health America says Oregon ranks second to last in the country for access to mental health care. The number nine reason why Portland isn't a place you should move to? The people themselves. Sure, there's lots of nice people here, but there's an atmosphere of perceived superiority and entitlement and very little tolerance of openness to listen to other points of view. Fact is, if you don't agree with what's happening in Portland, you simply won't fit in. You'll be ostracized or even worse. I mean, God help you if you express your political views at a protest or in public. You might be beaten up. A lot of the new people who move here are coming because of the stereotypes of what they want Portland to be. A vision of what the new people want, not what Portland was in the past. And finally, we come to the last reason not to move to Portland and why Portland sucks. The high cost of living. Profiteering developers have knocked down awesome historical buildings for tiny, yucky condos. Sadly, a lot of great parts of Portland were knocked down to market the city. And a lot of the newcomers didn't get to experience what made Portland a magical place. Kiplinger called Portland the fourth most expensive city in the nation, where the cost of living is 34% higher than the national average, and where housing costs are 84% above the U.S. average. Transportation and health care costs are also far above national averages, too. The rent here, which actually went down a little bit recently, if you can believe it, still exceeds the job market in many industries. Homes that were once $60,000 are now $600,000. Property taxes were the fifth highest in the nation before the increase had just passed. People pay 2.46% a year on their homes. It's going up all the time. But people keep voting for more and more taxes around here. To pay for what? Who knows? I mean, look at the place. Yeah, well, we didn't have any laws uh, for a long time that controlled rent. And I think we have some limited ones now. And people were just every month jacking up the rent on people as the economy got better after 2008, 2010 area. And that put a lot of people on the street. So, yeah, that's, we have this one area by this hospital, it's long road, probably about a mile long, that has the freeway to the left of it, and then this big hospital to the right of it. At night, around 5 o'clock, you'll just see all these motorhomes and campers and vans start lining up on the street along the freeway. They just camp there for the night. I mean, they move out in the morning, which is nice, uh, but around 5 or 6 at night, they just start getting their parking places, they pull out little grills, they cook dinner, and they sleep there for the night. There's a lot of those people, and you can tell. I've driven by there probably 20 times, and I've kind of taken notice that, look, there are people that have jobs, in my opinion, most of the time. They're just can't afford an apartment, can't afford a house. They're just doing what they can. Where do they go during the day? Uh, I imagine mean, their the job. They probably park their van or wherever, their motorhome, someplace near their job, and just watch their job. Uh, there's a lot of places you can park around here for the day, and then most people here, that's a really strange thing. They ride our train here a lot in Oregon, uh, or in Portland, I should say. So I think a lot of them will just move away from that area, park their motorhome, get on the max, and go to work, and then come home and park again. Yeah. So there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of people that are just, there's almost designated parking for the 